Welcome to T's Multiverse, and today is a very, very, very special episode because I have a co-host who will be uh, reviewing with me uh, the surprise series Lois and Superman. No, Superman and Lois. You're shaking your head over that. Yeah, Superman and I just messed up. Superman and Lois series from the CW. I have a special, special host here to help me review this series, the first five episodes. Hopefully they'll return. They'll be pleased with this review and they'll return. But uh, help me welcome Kiki to the panel of Teague's Multiverse. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> uh, hey, guys. All right. So... Superman and Lois, we got here, oh my my goodness, we got here, We I thought that the Elvers had died with Stephen Amell's character, uh, we, we've seen the Flash series turn into the Iris, Iris West saga, uh, Supergirl has gone down. I don't know what that show is doing, but it's it's on its last season, and and then we have the uh, abomination that is Batwoman, and I I don't know what that is, but on cue, right on cue, as he does in the comics, here comes Superman swooping in to save the day. And this has just been just absolutely such a surprise series for me. I didn't know what to expect from this series. I didn't know if we were going to get what they did to him in the Supergirl series, where they just turned him into just a pointless character who's constantly just telling uh, Supergirl how much better she is than him. But we got the complete opposite of that in this series. So... Just want us to kind of share. I want you know for us to, you know kind of talk about what we 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 thought about the series, uh, one through five. The episode, the show is on a, a bit of a hiatus. Sadly, uh, this they're swapping out the series with Supergirl, and uh, uh, of course its ratings. Supergirl's ratings is in the toilet, uh, but you know uh, this series will be returned May eighteenth. Uh, look forward to its return. But um, yeah, let's let's talk about you know let's talk about the show and and you know what you what your thoughts were and uh, what you look forward to seeing what you think you're gonna see you know I'll let you go first and then uh, I'll I'll give my two cents on this thing because I got some stuff I want to say about this um man this is some this I'm happy but yeah you you go on and you say what you need to say and uh, let's let's have some good conversation on this let's go. Okay, well, when the series was announced, um, Superman and Lois, I was a bit intrigued, but then they gave us a synopsis of what that show was going to be about. So, Superman and Lois being parents, you know, that whole day-to-day, -day, raising a family, going to work, and the struggles of Clark being a mm -hmm. superhero in the midst of that. Yeah. Uh, to tell you the truth, I was not interested in that, because, you huh. know, that's day-to-day -day for everybody who wants to see Superman go through that. Yeah. Um, but once I saw the first episode, and then consequently <laughs> the, the rest of the episodes, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I, I was interested in that. Because mm -hmm. when you look at characters... Um, reading comics and then seeing the different cartoons and the different shows on TV or elsewise, you don't, you don't see that. You don't right. see their true mm. real life Absolutely. of that. Yeah, so you, don't. you only see that they're a superhero, you know, but what happens, uh, you know, when you go home, when you go home, exactly. Yep. Yep. Cause even with Batman, you know, yeah. you're Bruce Wayne. So you kind of get a little bit of that with Batman, a right. tinsy bit, yeah. you know, cause he's Bruce Wayne or whenever he puts on the mask of Bruce Wayne, what yeah. that is, supposedly like Bruce Wayne is Bruce Wayne is Batman's mask mm -hmm. and Superman Cl Superman is Clark Kent's mask mm -hmm. if yeah if that makes any sense that's yeah. how I always saw it yeah, yeah. and that makes yeah. sense so yeah so it was very intriguing to see that so 
I am looking forward to the series coming back. I was kind of sad that they had to take some time off in order to, according to reports, because of COVID. But, you know, I just feel that that's only because they wanted to give Supergirl a chance to see what she could do. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know. <laughs> Try to trick people into yeah. to, to watch Supergirl. Supergirl. But it's not <laughs> nobody, working. Oh, nobody's watching yeah, that yeah. show. So I look forward to seeing it come back. And we used to like that series. Yeah, we did. It was we good. Did. Once Upon a Time, it was good. And I still, I like, um... David Harwood as the Martian Manhunter, best thing in the series, mm -hmm. best thing in all the Supergirl series, but they, some point, they just went down this rabbit hole of identity politics and just all these things that you should not be focusing on in the series, and it just went just astray, mm -hmm. and now it's finally gonna, you know, be, it's going, gonna get canceled, and, you know, but that's unfortunate because I honestly, to I like the Supergirl series. I follow, I watched the whole series from beginning. Did not watch m most of the last series, last seasons, Supergirl. But I did. We watched one through what the first three, four. How many seasons has it been? Is it four seasons, five seasons? Something. Something like that. But anyways, yeah, I watched most of the Supergirl series. It just got just got a hand. But yeah, th this yeah this series, man. Yeah, so I do like the, the storyline. Didn't realize that's what, um, something different, something interesting mm -hmm. um, to see that. So they do a great job of um, creating that story, even with the sons, um, showing yeah. that kind of, that teenage issue. Um, if anything, that's my least favorite part of mm. the show. Mm. Um, but at the same time, it's not as bad as it could be. And it's sometimes it's like they you see them kind of going in a direction where it's like, okay, mm, you know, but they can tone it down, you know. So I look forward to seeing where it goes. Um, even the storyline that they have, they have a couple storylines running in the show. So if you haven't seen it, it's it's very interesting. You've got stuff that's going on with Clark. There's stuff going on with Lois's um, father and their her, his dynamic with the family. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Who is this Morgan Edge dude? What is he doing? So that's the storyline with Lois going on. Then you have the sons, their storyline, you know. The twins, one's one way, one's the other way, you know, that dynamic. I appreciate seeing one of the brothers um, always looking out for the other one. And I, I, they do both of, both of them do the, do it the same way. But, that's you know, most, I do like that. That's the most surprising part of the series. It's, it, it deviates from what the CW normally does where mm -hmm. the brother gets, he, he, he is like, jealous mm -hmm. and he feels shunned by the other sibling or the other person and then they go out their way to make their life a living hell mm -hmm. and in this series yeah. it's the exact opposite, opposite. like mm -hmm. there is that feeling of being left out there is that feeling of, of like you know hey like like um john kent the football the jock mm -hmm. he uh he's the jock of the series and it's like you know the other brother who who's is pretty much like the kind of the outcast of society he doesn't he's not involved in anything but yet you know he takes his time to look after his brother ultimately his brother is winds up playing football and um his he his the brother that plays football the the loner the one that was the you know the always felt like he never uh fit in he has john jordan has the powers and John doesn't have powers. Mm -hmm. But I feel he's going to have powers. Yeah, he's gonna I, have think, powers. I think he's going to have powers. I don't know. I, I, I would like for him not to have powers. I, yeah. I think that creates a... I like that dynamic of him not having... John not having powers. Mm -hmm. And then Jordan building that dynamic of, okay, I don't have powers. I'm watching my brother who never really fit in. He's fitting in now because he's a part of a football team. Mm -hmm. He's taking up a sport that was mine. I own that. That was something that I felt that was a part of me mm -hmm. that defined who I was. And seeing him, seeing Jordan with use his powers to to be a super a football star, pretty much mm -hmm. a standout football player. Mm -hmm. And for his brother to ultimately tell his dad, "Hey, you know what? We need to give him a chance. We need mm -hmm. to let him play football." Yeah, folks, this is what happens later on as the series before the series goes on its hiatus. You know, um, John Kent is the jock. He's a football player. Jordan is the is the loner. Is the it guy. He has, he is the, he he does what um, mental some 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 mental issues for him to his brother to embrace 
J Jordan and say, you know what, he needs to play football. He needs football. I know that was my sport at that, but he needs to play football. They taught Clark into allowing him to play football and using his abilities to 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 fit in and to 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 be able to play football. So I like that dynamic. I don't want both to have powers because I feel like it's going to turn into the whole CW formula. Everybody has to have superpowers on the CW. Everybody has to be a superhero, and mm -hmm. and that's not. I don't I don't want that. I want the, and I like the fact that Jordan doesn't have all of his dad abilities, and I I, I like that. Yeah. I want that dynamic where. No, there's one Superman, and it's Clark Kent, jor yeah. Kal-El, I'm sorry, Kal-El, mm -hmm. is the one with the powers. He is, he, is, he is the guy. I don't want his sons. Typical CW would be his son Jordan. He has powers, and they find out that he's more powerful than his dad. And then in the show, he's going to outdo his dad in every way, but that's not the way. That's not the case. Focuses on Superman and keep him with the powers. Let Jordan's powers manifest. It's gonna, it's gonna evolve. I, I, evolve. I feel. But we see that his powers are basically like triggered by emotion. He, if he gets in uh, under duress, Jordan's powers come out. Like he had that heat vision moment at that party when his brother was getting uh, beat up by uh, some some bullies from school. You know, so. That, I like that dynamic. I don't want both to have powers, and I, I'm happy that they're doing it. And I like the fact that Jordan doesn't have all of his father's powers. Just they manifest only when he's under duress, and his strength is not on par with his father. It's just it's that delicate balance you know, of saying, okay, focus on Superman. He's the guy. Mm -hmm. But yet his, parent, his sons have abilities. But yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I look forward to the stories that they will tell with that. Um, as well as that whole um, someone from another Earth story, mm -hmm. um, Captain Luther, he um, on the other Earth was married to Lois Lane. Yes, so it's like, you know, you. and on his Earth, Ooh. Superman went rogue, rogue. <laughs> yes. and um, pretty much, Ooh. you know, kilt and kilt and kilt. Yes. Um, so I he just want to see He was pretty much Henry that. Cavill Superman from Zack Snyder. Yeah, Zach, that Zach yeah like what Zack Snyder wanted to do. He wanted to turn Henry Cavill into yeah, this so when he was. <laughs> it was a very moody and upset back. Um, Superman, so yeah, um, killing everybody, killing everybody. So that'd be interesting to yeah. see how that story plays out and how Superman is going to combat him, figuring you know stuff out. And there's other super, super powered people yes. in the storyline too that Morgan, that Morgan Edge, that? Edge, Edge, Morgan Edge. Edge has something to do yeah. with. So to find out like what is going on with that, you know. So I look forward to. Is overall. he from another dimension? Um, I personally feel that he is, because he, he just is. knows something. He knows too much. Yes. He knows he a knows bit too way much. Way too much. So I feel there's something going on with with that. Too so much. too much. So we'll find out in another month and a half as the yeah. story continues. Oh, I can't. I, I hate yeah, that. So, we gotta wait till May. Yeah, 18th. I know that's a long Ooh. time, but we'll it'll get there. But that'll be something to look forward to, because then by then Falcon and the Winter Soldier will be done. And then that'll be something. And folks, that order. show is mm -hmm. killing it. That mm -hmm. show is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I got that review coming up too. Um, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Whew, Marvel. Yeah. Once so, again. Leave us a comment. What do you think about the storyline and the characters for um, Superman and Lois? Like, how do you feel about them? Like, what's who's your... What storyline do you look forward to the most? That you look forward to finding out how that plays out? Because it, it's, it's interesting. I like that. There's a lot going on. It's mm -hmm. just like so many things... The this series, uh, I I I on the notes here I wrote down um cinematic el, el, um cinematic um, excellence, and although this is not a film per se, this 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 series feels like a cinematic film. It feels so different. It's just a breath of fresh air. From the first, when we saw the first episode, I said, this show might be for real. And I said, we continue to watch. We said, episode two, I said, okay, th th I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. The the tone, it mimics uh, that of the DCEU films. Um, Zack Snyder's Superman, Man of Steel, you know, no Christopher Nolan's tone. It's way different from the CW stuff that we've seen at the CW Universe. And it's just the pacing, um, 
the, the just the scenes. There was a scene, and I, I we we watched one episode. We watched the episodes. I like I rewatched this show, and because it's so good. And there's a scene where he's um, on the farm, and he's just in this quiet moment, just lifting the tractor, and he's thinking about the farm, his life, and those just those just simple scenes about him thinking, you know, maybe he should have been there more with his mom because he did leave his mom at an early age, you know, to pursue his destiny. And his mom did pass in, in the pilot, and he felt like he was never there. But just those simple scenes of him by himself in the farm, just thinking to himself, like, look how this place is really kind of falling apart, and I've never, I wasn't there, you know. And there are just so many just scenes and things that, that are throughout the series that just make it so beautiful. Like, this show is just, it's just beautiful. Like, the the dynamic of being a father and trying to balance that with being in a relationship and uh, a husband and then you you got to be a husband you got to make sure you take care of your family then on top of that you got to balance being superman you know you're the protector of the world and it's just like the father makes a valid point when he tells Lois you married superman you might have married Clark Kent but you married superman that dynamic it just makes the story this this series is just it's just not so it's not the, all the so the CW, rest of the CW series is so just like oh man I can't think of the word but it's just so bland in its storytelling and it's just so like there, there's just no dimension there's just no dimension to the storytelling there's just so many angles to this series like there's so many things that can go wrong but don't go wrong mm -hmm. the relationships like you hinted at with the brothers the the brother love they love one another regardless of one might feel like one has the power now and the other one doesn't, he has his back. He's there for him. I love that. The dynamic between Lois and and, and, and Clark and how they, it's, I feared that the series was going to be Lois dominating the series, saving Superman, telling Superman how he's nothing and how and just blaming him for everything. Typical CW formula. Superman is the weakling. She's the most powerful. She's telling him what to do, and it's nothing like that. That series is, is, they are partners. They are, they are a team, and she lifts him up, and he lifts her up, and that's the beauty of the series. It's like, there is nobody, like, overshadowing nobody. There's nothing like that. I just love that, and it's just the characters, um, Lana, her issues, you know, smiling on the outside and pain on the inside. That's something a lot of, we, you know, people deal with. We can all identify with, you know. And like I said, again, the father, his 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 argument is the world needs Superman. And, you know, you, you know, you, this is what you married him. And their thing is like, you got to allow, allow us to live our lives. Clark has to, he has to, he has to allow him to make those decisions as to what, how much he's there for his family. Or when he's gonna come and save him and the world. So it's just that that balance, man. I just I just love it. This this series has it all. It's just I mean, I, I can't rave on it enough. And it's just so much I feel like we're gonna find out about this um this uh Morgan Edge guy and then how he's creating these Kryptonian super soldiers. And then we have the 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 Luther guy, Captain Luther. You know what what happens? What's gonna happen with him when he finds out that what Superman is not evil? This yeah. Superman is not evil. Like he his his goal is to take out this guy because from on his planet, Superman was evil. But Superman ain't evil on this planet. Superman is the Earth's protector. Yeah. So like you wonder what's gonna happen with this character when mm -hmm. he finds out that his mission is mute. Yeah. And his mission is mute. Mm -hmm. Do they join forces? Mm -hmm. Are they going to join forces against uh, Morgan Edge's army? You know, or, you know what's yeah, going to happen? Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen. Yeah, that. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just story, the pacing. This series definitely has its longevity. It definitely can go on for a number of seasons. Uh, if, if you play your cards right, you can definitely go on for 10 seasons like Smallville. Um, now... My question to you is, is this series in the same universe as 
Batwoman, Supergirl, and The Flash. Is th- Do you feel like this series is in that same universe? I personally don't think so. Me neither, because no, this show it's not, is just like same. different. Yeah, completely Ooh, different. Ooh, it's so, so different. It but is. I would like for them to do something that. in the show that makes you know yeah. that that's it. not, you know, like bring on another, like um, for a Superman to talk to, to Kara and it be somebody completely yeah. different. You yeah. know, that's a good way to... You yeah. know, pick up the phone and call her, and yeah. she's you know Somebody a else. student at a university or something yeah. like that, and not yeah. necessarily the one that's flying around. Yeah. You know, so yeah. that would be nice for them to make it clear. But I do, I don't think it's in that that same universe because of you know just what all the things we just said with the characters and the story and everything. Totally different. It's completely different. It's just different. And 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 um and I and I read uh, that these are different. The writers, uh. Are just a different set of writers that's doing this. Mm-hmm. Um, people who've done stuff with HBO Max, HBO. Um, it's just, you can tell. You can tell this is not. They are not saying it. And Warner Brothers has a bad. They have a bad. You know, habit. bad habit mm-hmm. of just not saying things. Mm-hmm. But this is a whole in a whole another universe. Um, now, that's not that's not to say. John Deagle won't show up on this show, mm-hmm. but, but folks, gotta remember this is the multiverse. We have doppelgangers, so I and I I want this to be a rebooted DC, uh, CW DC TV universe because that could leave the door open for even Stephen Amell to come back um, to be Green Arrow from this universe. Like, and I want to see if, if you got Bruce Wayne on Batwoman for an episode or two, I want to see him on this series. I, I want to see him, that I want to see Bruce Wayne on this series cameoing to purchase uh, the Daily Planet. I think that would be an awesome way to insert him into the series. E- even if you just put it up on the screen, mm-hmm. Bruce Wayne, Wayne, Wayne Enterprises purchases Daily Planet. Yeah. And that's your way of signaling that Bruce Wayne may be coming onto the series. And I just want him just on a, maybe an episode or two, you know, just, just to show up, you know, you know, he's Batman already, mm-hmm. but just to show up, I think that'd be awesome. You think, what do you think about I that? I think that would be a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is a way for the CW to kind of world build behind Superman. This mm-hmm. is, I feel like this is the best way to world build the next phase for for D, for the CW DC universe, it did it with what what Stephen Amell's Arrow, which was Arrow was something else, man. He was awesome, and I, I miss Stephen Amell as Green Arrow. Mm-hmm. He was phenomenal. I just I want to see him back as Green Arrow. I want to see him back even in DC. I think he should portray Green Arrow in, the, in on the film, but mm-hmm. I think he should come back. Uh, now at the end of Arrow, John Deagle. Uh, his character did move to Metropolis, so he he is possibly still going to be on this cameo on this show. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I know I've read that um, his story is going to also is going to continue on the Flash, um, but hopefully he'll show up on this series. But even if he does, doesn't mean that does not mean that this is the same universe because it could be a different the doppelgangers. We've seen that in the Flash. Mm-hmm. Um, so again, this series has been awesome. Uh, what, what characters would you like to see cameo through this series? I mean, we talked about Bruce Wayne, mm-hmm. talked about John Deagle, but what characters would you like to see cameo? You know, you you got you got a bit of you got some DC knowledge. You got some. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, it's like a, it's one of those things where they haven't set like much people up. Right. To say, you know, other than John Deagle, Arrow, to say, okay, show up, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind. They didn't, one of the episodes they mentioned um, Flash, or they insinuated Flash. Um, did it? They did, and he, because um, he needed something really quickly. Oh, oh no! I no, no, no! Black Lightning! <laughs> that was Black Lightning. Oh, Never mind. Oh, and Black and I love so, Black Lightning, folks. Um, Black so Lightning, that's my show. If anything, okay. So I guess then Flash, if anything, Flash um, would be Flash, Flash would be the guy. Good. He would be the yeah. guy. Good segment. Yeah, way into yeah. Because it's like be you know good. they yeah. everybody. It's kind of like out of the whole encyclopedia of DC characters. 
there's not much that they've actually set up um, yeah, I think Flash in the good. show. So I think, if anything, Flash, um, that would be a good one. I wouldn't want to see. So there's rumors that um, um, that Batwoman is oh, going to. Oh, no. That, you know, third and final season Ooh. after that, that she would then, you know, come on. No. Does, but I For hope and pray that it's love of all not that's, all that's All that's ever Ever living on this planet? No. Yeah. So Please, that definitely that ain't gonna that. happen, y'all. Mm-hmm. That woman will not show up on on, on Superman and Lois. That ain't gonna happen. That 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 show has they're they're trying. That's 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 why this show is so different because of all that right there. Yeah, that, that ain't gonna happen. But I, I think Flash will be uh, to see Grant go, and it would be interesting if they did a different Flash. Yeah, that would. Be I would like that. Yeah, because then know, that kind of sets. Maybe that would be a good one to that show. That would be because people don't understand a different Earth. People are like they don't understand even with the movie universe. Like people don't understand. Like oh, okay, since you're using Gal, uh, Gal Gadot and Jason Momoa, it seems in a in a film, it's it's tied to Zack Snyder stuff. When we're they're talking about the multiverse. And we've talked about seeing that in Flash. So I feel like you may have to go that route. So people won't go, oh, it's, that's, the, that's the CW's Flash. Mm-hmm. That's the one that from the Iris West Allen show. No, no, it could be the same. It could be the same actor, but from a different universe. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't mind seeing, I love, I like Grant Gustin. I love Grant Gustin, but I just, I wouldn't mind seeing him back. But it'd be interesting too to see to a different, see a different else. Flash. Mm-hmm. Or somebody yeah. else portray the Flash. Mm-hmm. Um, I know CW has the clamps down on Wonder Woman. It would be nice to see, you know, Diana Prince cameo on there. But I, I know for mm-hmm. some, they are like, they got the clamps on having Wonder Woman on these series. Like, yeah. You, they didn't even want to have her show up on Titans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or, so what about the folks from Titans? I feel like that's the kind of similar... Universe, sure, you know, on the head. You know, that's a similar that universe. one. So even if you you can't necessarily have Diana Prince, but maybe you could have you know they have those those people from the mm-hmm. the whole you know where from you know wherever she's from <laughs> that universe. Fits. Yeah, the mascara that fits. So that could fit. I never thought of it like that, but yeah. that tight the Titans universe could tie in ties to, in yeah, more to, to that, Superman and Lois. Yeah. Than they anything, say, yeah. And I tell you, I like how they world build on Titans. Like you, mm-hmm. even if, even when you don't see the heroes, you feel their presence, the way mm-hmm. they talk about them. Yeah. And 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 that's what I hope the movies will do. Talk about these these characters, people in these movies. Mention them. That work. That's that helps towards world building. Building. But yeah, mm-hmm. that, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think that would yeah. be good. They mm-hmm. they said that um, Star Girl is. It's Earth Two, mm-hmm. and um, even on that IGN um thing I watched, they were talking about the D- state of DC EU, and they said that Robert Pattinson's Batman is on Earth Two, and uh, Star Wars, on, and mm-hmm. that don't even yeah, that, that those go. that doesn't mm-hmm. go at all. Oh, like mm-hmm. so, I don't know what that's about, but I think Titans and the Superman and the Lower series mm-hmm. they definitely connect. Yeah, and I can definitely see that 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 happening. Mm-hmm. So I, I hope. I hope that um, I hope that at some point we'll get get some type of a clarification, in terms of like what what universe this thing is on, because it's not on it's not it's just not I I, I don't believe it. unless until they tell me different, this is you know on a, on a whole entire different universe, and I couldn't be more happy because it leaves the door open for so many things mm-hmm. for so many people to come on, for so much to go down. You disconnect from the stuff that's not working because I think that's what the CW wanted to do with this series is disconnect from from the, the trash that's not working and utilize what does work and and I think they're they're on they're going on on the right start with this series so um yeah that's that's my two cents on this that's all I have to say I look forward to seeing this series you know Tyler, Tyler oh yeah Tyler Hucklin as Superman. Uh, I just want to say this. He's showing the world, and he's showing movie studios that Superman can be done correctly. Okay, this is that's the one thing I wanted to make sure. I I 
I don't know why I didn't say this at from the top. This guy, I loved him on Supergirl in his first two episodes, and then they then they just ruined this character. But this guy here truly embodies who Superman is. He may not be as big as Henry Cavill, but his heart and how he portrays the character is just is is larger than life, and I like that. Uh, the spirit of 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 caring about the people and being that light, that ray of hope, it shines through from his character, and he brings that to life. And I and I, I hate it when I hear people go on interviews or I've seen people say Superman is just tough. I'm the tough to right. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. You gotta you gotta you gotta care about what you're doing in terms of writing this character. And you just cannot write him dark. You can't get caught up into going, well, how will people, how will people just deal with Superman? He's such a god and he's just, no, 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 no. Focus on the show source material. You, 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 there's source material out there. You have Christopher Reeve's Superman to look at. You have things that you can draw from, from the comics. He is, he is a ray of light. He's a beacon of hope. You even have Marvel's uh, uh, Captain America to pull from. He is a ray of hope. He's a beacon for light, a light. And he even said in the stories, like people thought that you had to, Snyder thought that you had to darken him up and Batman begins Superman in order to make him current. No, you don't. You don't. You Make him the Boy Scout. Make him that old school hero that we all need to see because this world needs that. This world needs to see light. They need to see hope. They need to see somebody to smile, to wink, to help people. He does that. And, um... I'm, I couldn't be more happy in, in how he's showing that this is how you can play Superman. He and Brandon Routh's portrayal of Superman, spot on. Uh, easily my favorite. I love Henry Cavill. I don't think he's ever got a, really got a chance to play Superman the way he wants to play him. I don't think he knows. I don't think he has can do Clark Kent. That's that's my only thing with Cavill. Like he 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 looks like Superman. He 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 can. Play Superman, but Clark Kent is the most important piece of it, and I don't think I think he has a hard time playing his that character. But overall, this guy he embodies Superman, and I I couldn't be more happy with this series. I hope that this series goes on. I hope this this serves as a world builder for the DC, for the CW's DC universe moving forward. Uh, that's just my thoughts on it. Uh, Kiki, what else? You got anything else I you know, want to I know. I just look forward to the series coming back and um, hearing about the characters and seeing where the storyline goes and um, then on to season two. So it'll be good. All I right. think it'll continue to be good. Okay. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, Kiki, thank you so much again for joining me for this special Superman and Lois review. Uh, look forward to it coming back again. Thanks. Thank you all for um, tuning in to this. I appreciate all your support. Be sure to comment below, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Thank you once again, Kiki. And um, till next time, folks, be safe, be good to one another, and stay tuned and up, up, and away. <laughs>